And welcome back to episode 18 of the City of Charlatan. So yeah, on the previous one, we built this this neighborhood with the aquarium as kind of the centerpiece overlooking the marina. And yeah, so just adding a little drive around would be nice just to kind of see it from ground level for a change because when you're building, you're obviously always building from top-down view. And it's, yeah, gives you a cool perspective sometimes just to see the city up close like this. And kind of the actual hustle bustle, how the roads actually really function. And it, it helps me as the builder to to spot mistakes. Um, but yeah, it was convenient finding a car that just seemingly aimlessly drove around in just this neighborhood for some reason. <laughs> um, I did afterwards make sure that there wasn't some kind of weird road loop happening. But yeah, it's just... For whatever reason the AI decided to just send this guy around forever which yeah worked out for us but yeah either way um, enough of that on today's build we're gonna do a ore mine or just should I say an open cast mine um, something that's pretty commonplace here in South Africa um, seeing as you know most of our major cities were founded thanks to resources um, South Africa is one of the few countries in the world that's really lucky in terms of natural resources. We have so much minerals, everything from platinum to uranium, gold, whatever. We've we've got it. Um, and yeah, the country also sells it on the cheap. But yeah, before I sound like I'm standing on a soapbox. Um, so here, my thinking was because it's so quite, well, it's quite far away from the city itself. Um, so two things need to happen. A, it needs its own highway connection, which we'll do as a separate video altogether, because um, it is quite a complicated thing, adding two, two intersections and a highway link. Um, but here, yeah, we're just going to add some rails. So A, a, a commercial normal rail line and a cargo rail line, um, mostly so people can get to work and back. Um, without having to drive all the way out here through the entire city because I also don't want that to happen purely for traffic sake and secondly so all the commercial vehicles don't have to drive all the way as far to get some of the stuff out even though a lot of them will be driving out to the harbor connection because um, for whatever reason the game doesn't shift goods from um, a, tra a train cargo hub to a uh, train and or just boat hub once it gets to a hub that's kind of where it seems it goes um, they don't exchange stuff at all so yeah we're trying to split the split the game into two segments so it has two allocations none of which have to go through the city whatsoever but yeah let's get into our first speedball of this one chat soon <laughs>
And yeah, that's the two train stations in place. Uh, I was just finishing up the connections. Uh, so yeah, decided to go on a combo road. So uh, um, industrial kind of cement style road and that connected into a two lane highway road that takes it into the city just to help flow and speed and that kind of stuff. But yeah, now we're going to get into the actual mine build. Start carving out a big chunk of a mountain. <laughs> Chat soon. And we're back. So yeah, I <laughs> could not find a road that matches that gravel texture down there and the actual gravel texture just looks terrible. So yeah, um, so after this build I went to the steam workshop, found a invisible road, just replaced all of this dirt road with that and yeah it still doesn't look great but it certainly looks better than these weird orange lines everywhere. But it is what it is. Um, here I did initially think of adding like uh, props of excavators and stuff running up and down here but yeah it just didn't make sense after I put the big diggers down that comes with the game so I actually ended up taking out those roads um, but yeah that was kind of like the thinking either way anyway let's get back into some music and speed builds chat soon mm -hmm. 